Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from A4CS 1431B. This video is belongs to Madam Wan Nur Hayati binti Wan Abdul Aziz for subject MAT 123 which is Foundation of Geometry. In this video, they have four presenters that are handsome and pretty. They are Ame, Rabiatul, Ashikin and me. My name is Salisa Adabri Shamsobahrin and my ID number is 2021831928. The rest of them will introduce themselves before they start presenting. So, this time, we will present about two topics that we have discussed before. The two topics are Australia's Square Tower and Standard Netball Ball. Without further ado, let's begin. Australia Square Tower is an office and retail complex in Central Business District of Sydney. Its main address is 26 George Street. The square is bounded on the northern side by Bond Street, the southern side by Curtin Place and the eastern side by Pitt Street. This building is officially opening on 1967. Let's look at the characteristic of this building. Australia Square Tower was built in the shape of a cylinder with high 170 meters and the diameter is 42 meters. It has constructed shortly after high restrictions were lifted in the city of Sydney and at a time when small sites, including blocks created by landways, were being consolidated into larger blocks to accommodate high rise office tower. This building has one of Sydney's largest basement car parks with spaces for 400 vehicles. Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nambaya Ashiki Binti Rosli. Uh, my ID number is 20214562262. Now, I will um, explain how to calculate the surface area and the volume of the Australia Square. We know that Australia Square have the shape of cylinder. So the formula for surface area of cylinder is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. We also know that um, the height of the Australia Square is 170 meter. While the radius of the shoulder square is 45 meter divided by 2, which is equal to 22.5 meters. So, what are we going to do next is uh, we just substitute the values in the formula, uh, which the formula is 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r square. Next, we will find the volume of the shoulder square, which is in the shape of cylinder. Um, the formula for the formula of volume for cylinder is pi r squared h. Then we will substitute the values into the formula, which is pi r squared h. Then we will get the final answer for the volume of the Australia square. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Amir Asha bin Zikifri. Now, I will present about the application of geometry which is the standard netball ball. Okay, the first is netball was first played in England in 1895 at Madame Ostenburg College. In the first half of the 20th century, netball property continued to grow with the game being played in many British Commonwealth countries. There were no standard rules at that time with both 9 aside and 5 aside version of the game. Uh, the second for the standard netball is characteristic. First characteristic is size of netball is 5 it is the official size and they are used in match training session and for recreational purpose. Inflation, Gilbert netball should be inflated to the correct pressure of 8 until 10 psi. The second is 
The shape of netball is spera. The meter of size is 5, which is the diameter is 8.9 inches. Okay, that is that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. I'm Robi Atul Adawi of Binti Jamil. In this presentation, I will talk about mathematical calculation. I will calculate the surface area and volume of netball. Formula for surface area of netball is 4 pi r square. With the diameter, which is 8.9 inches, we can get radius when the diameter is divided by 2 and radius will be 4.45 inches. And then, substitute the value into the formula and we will get the answer is 55.9203 inches square. As for the volume of netball, the formula for volume is 4 per 3 pi r cubic with the radius is 4.45 inches. Substitute the value into the formula and we will get 369.1209 inch cubic, inches cubic. As for conclusion, after completing this assignment, the student will have a broader understanding of geometry and it's relevant to everyday life. They should also recognize connection between mathematical and word history. In addition, the student will develop an in-depth understanding of one major historical figure in the evolution of, of geometry. And lastly, the reference which is the link of website that we use as a source of information for our presentation. That's all from us. Thank you.